Okay. I represent Obokun, Oriade, Federal Constituency, Mr. Speaker, my colleagues, and from Oshun State. Uh, let me join my colleagues who have spoken in favor of teachers this morning, particularly our mother in the house, Honorable Aisha Dukum. Uh, I'm also a product of uh, teachers. My father, my mother, my parents were teachers. Mr. Speaker, I was also a teacher. Uh, I'm also an employer of teachers. By the grace of God, I have about 600 and uh, support staff teachers uh, in our employment. I want to observe, Mr. Speaker, that we're all products. We're all products of teachers. And gone are those days, Mr. Speaker, that people say that the reward of teachers are in heaven. We should ensure, we should make sure that teachers begin to get a reward on the earth. Here. Mr. Speaker, it's not just enough for us to stand up here and talk and appreciate that uh, today is Teachers' Day. We should look at the issues, the plight of teachers in the areas of training, in the areas of acquisition of knowledge, training and retraining, vis-a-vis the emoluments, the salaries they get, both in the private and the public sector. Mr. Speaker, it will, it will interest you to know that schools in the UK and the US that teachers get as much as 100,000 pounds per annum. In other words, a teacher can earn, when you use Naira, when you uh, convert it to Naira, particularly use the MFLA Naira model, a teacher may earn close to three, four million Naira per month. But here, what our teachers are earning is not what I would call a living wage, in the sense that they cannot, even, they cannot afford to pay rent. They cannot afford to send their children to school. So, Mr. Speaker, from policy trust, from policy perspectives, we need to look at our laws and come up with a position, probably to give teachers or people or students studying the education who be teachers in universities, but probably we have to give them discount or even allow them to have free education in the university. Because these are the people that we refer as refer to as local parents. Where you and I, when we are busy running up and down to make ends meet, it is the teachers that are busy looking after our children. So, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge us to look at our laws, probably to evolve a bill to ensure that will be teachers or current teachers who seek higher education or who wants to go on study leave, they should be given recognition, go on study leave with pay, or get free education at various uh, educational levels. I so submit, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.